Hey guys, what is going on? Nick here with GearNut, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Claris ST15. So, if you guys haven't heard about Claris flashlights, you should really check them out. And you guys should go over and check out Flashlight Z. You know, they sent this down for us to review, so big thank you to those guys. And description box below, check it out. I'll have some links over to their website. I'll also have a discount code for you down there as well. So, if you're looking at getting a flashlight or some flashlight accessories, go check those guys out. Help them out. They're trying to grow. So, let's help out some of the, the littler dealers. Let's try to make them bigger. So, but the Claris ST15. <laughs> I don't know why nobody's done a video about this yet. Like, this light is very impressive. So, <laughs> let's just get into it, you know. 1100 lumens on its brightest setting. And now I know what you're saying. Gear nut. You have one that's 3000 lumens. Why would you pick something else? Why would you do another flashlight? Well, it's not all about lumens. So, if you guys don't believe me on that, go check out this other video I made where I went and checked one of my fishing holes. <laughs> and <laughs> I tell you what, this Claris ST15 out through that 3000 lumen G20. So it's, it's not all about the number of lumens. It's about the lumens and your reflector as well. So next time you're picking flashlight out, kind of take a look at the reflector. If you want a thrower, try to get a really deep coned one and make sure it's nice and smooth with a kicking LED like this. Or, you know, if you want something that's really floody, get one that has a lot of orange peel and a really wide thrower, so, or a really wide uh, lens, you know, not really deep. But, anyhow, off of that and onto this, the Claris ST15, I would classify this as a fantastic outdoorsman light. Fishing, hunting, hiking, if you're searching for your dog, you know, this covers a lot of distance. It's a, it's a great light. So, you get your lanyard and you get an extra O-ring here. Really nice accessories, you know. Uh, you also get another promotional guide. And if you guys don't know about Claris flashlights, let me take a second and show you some. They have a wide variety from tactical to bikes to the G20. The G20 is just, you guys gotta check that out. That's nuts. But they've got a lot of different lights, you know, so you might wanna check that out. But <laughs> this flashlight has a lot, a lot of features on here. So, but anyhow, you know, the instructions are definitely worth a read. I'm not gonna read you the instructions. It's got an ITS temperature control system in it, which is really nice. It'll downgrade the light, like from brightest, it'll start going down the modes to help the light cool down and keep it from popping your battery. So, really, really nice features. But, one of the things I really wanted to show you is this tail cap. So, it's stainless steel around here, and then this lanyard mount is 360 swiveling. <laughs> It's almost like having a fidget toy on the end of your flashlight. So no matter if you grab this flashlight and you're twirling it around, that lanyard ring is always going to be, it's, it's not going to wrap the lanyard up around the flashlight and choke your wrist off. So I really do, I really do like that. The belt clip on here is insanely strong. I pocket carried this for a day. And it just sticks out just a little bit right here. Just enough for you to get a nice purchase and grab. You can pull it out. I wouldn't classify this as a tactical light because it doesn't have like an immediate strobe access. You know, you can't just do like a one button strobe. So, but let's unscrew this and pull out your plastic tab. Here is your battery that it comes with. It comes with a Claris 2600 milliamp hour uh, 18650 and it is a double springed you guys can see down in here so there's a spring down in here and a spring over here so you don't get a lot of rattle or anything it's got a really nice positive lock on that battery so if you do shake it or drop it it stays on and what's really nice is this is on and off and then this right here is all your modes so let's rotate this so you can kind of see when you turn it on 
there's a green light <laughs> that right there is indicating that this thing is uh, 70 to 100 percent battery charge so it's a nice little battery meter so it started out in turbo i turned it down to its lowest setting so you guys can actually get a really nice view of it so low medium high turbo <laughs> so that turbo is pretty ridiculous um, strobe warning I'm gonna double click this thing it's gonna strobe so if you've ever <laughs> seen a Claris strobe it is very very disorienting it has a nice little pattern to it and I'm really messing with this camera so it's in real life it's really really disorienting so double click strobe double click SOS so that's your your functions and everything what's nice is whatever you leave this in except for strobe and SOS whatever mode you leave this flashlight in and you turn it off it's gonna remember that and it's gonna turn it right back on in that mode so if you're out hunting and you wanna read a map you can leave it in low turn it off let it sit for however long you want turn it back on it's in low so but one downside about the flashlight guys it does not come with anything to recharge that 18650 so you guys will need to pick up an extra charger or buy a charger or if you already have a charger you just have to utilize that but that's the other thing um, it will use two CR123A batteries so that is really awesome. So when you have a flashlight that can use different styles and types of batteries, I am all for that. That is really, really awesome. So let's take a look at this lens real quick. See if I can zoom in. I wanted to show you the stainless steel bezel on the top of it. And that right there, that purple and blue you're seeing is that AR coating on that lens that glass lens so <laughs> that's awesome that's not the lights that's not my backdrop you know so that's my light right there but that's the color you're picking up but just look at how smooth let me see if I can get any more but just look at how smooth and how deep <laughs> that reflector is it is it's impressive just a littler LED in there and it just puts out the power so but this is the Claris ST15 I think that this is a very unestimated outdoorsman light you know if you guys are looking for something like that I would highly recommend checking this thing out it's even got a nice little grip on the back here so you don't slip around so yeah it works with gloves too so but it's got this really nice anti-roll flat spots, as you guys can see. So if you do set this thing down on a table or something, it's not going to roll off. So, But I am very, very impressed with this. So this is definitely going to be going into my EDC bag or in my car, one of those. And then I'll keep some of the other lights I have around the house for that use. But I would highly recommend checking out the Claire's ST15. So, not sure why nobody's done a video about it yet. <laughs> That's crazy. So, it's, it's a fantastic light. It's it's definitely an outdoorsman light. It's definitely a light that is designed to throw a beam over a distance, you know. You can get your around the house chores and stuff done with it too. You know, it works for that. That's those nice mo low, low modes. Low and medium are probably around the house. Once you start getting into high and turbo, that's where it gets extremely bright up close so but that's what i got i hope you enjoyed the video if you guys have any questions or comments hit me up in the comment section below and once again go check out flashlightz.com i'll have the description box i'll have all that information there for you can't say enough good things about those people so super fast shipping i mean <laughs> it's quick so but that's what i got and i will see you guys later